Figure 20.1, Standard Library Container Classes. What you're looking at here is a list of many of the common container classes from the C++ standard library as of the current C++ standard. And I say that only because uh, with the new C++ standard that's due in 2012, there will be additional container classes that are coming from the Boost standard. Uh, C++ libraries, which you can currently investigate at boost.org. Now, if you take a look at the set of containers that are listed here, you'll see that we've broken these down into sequence containers, associative containers, and container adapters. The sequence containers are the vector, deek, and list. And basically, vectors and deeks are enhanced styles of array-like data structures and then the list data structure is a doubly linked list implementation. Separately we have the associative containers set and multiset, map and multimap. Sets and multisets allow you to manipulate sets of information and the key difference between them is that in a set you can have uh, only unique values, whereas in a multi-set you can have duplicates. And then similarly we have maps and multi-maps, and in a map you have key value pairs, and the difference is that uh, in a map you can have only one-to-one -one mapping, so every key has one value, and in the case of a multi-map every key can have multiple values, therefore you can have duplicate values. Finally, we have what we call the container adapters, and basically the container adapters allow you to view other containers in a restricted manner. For example, I can use a, a stack data structure, and underneath the hood of a stack could be one of the sequence containers, but because we're viewing it as a stack, we would not be able to use all of the capabilities of the underlying container. And one of the reasons for that is that a stack is considered to be a last-in, first-out data structure. So, for example, even though vector, deke, and list, the three sequence containers all allow you to insert and remove items anywhere you want, in the data structure, a stack can only have its uh, elements added and removed from one end of the data structure. Similarly, we have a queue container adapter, which is a first in, first out data structure, meaning that all new items are placed in at the end of the queue and remove and all items being taken out come from the front of the queue and again this is a restricted way of looking at the underlying data structure so basically the queue class adapts one of the sequence containers so that it operates like a queue and the same is true for the priority queue as well and the key thing with a priority queue is that it maintains its highest priority element as the first element so no matter what the order is that you add things into a priority queue, whichever element has the highest priority is always going to be the first one that's removed from the underlying data structure. As we proceed through this uh, lesson, we'll take a look at all of these different types of containers.